Introduction to Game Physics with Box2D, Chapter 5, Getting Started with Box2D. Here's a simple toy that gets you started with the, the uh, basic Box2D concepts and some of the things that you can do very easily. So in this chapter I don't go through the code in much detail, I leave that for later chapters, but this at least gives you some taste of uh, what you can do. Now, in this demo, when you hit the spacebar, you get a ball or a book appearing at a random place and dropping out of the sky. Now, this is single ball is not real interesting, it just bounces. Not too hard to do, we could probably take the uh, pool endgame code and do this pretty easily. It gets more interesting when you have more objects. Now, hitting the space bar a few times, yeah, yeah, yeah. After doing this and getting bored, one is tempted to hold the space bar down and get auto-repeat to create a whole bunch of things. So here we go. Oh, there's some books too being created. Now it gets really interesting here because now they bounce off of each other and we get a very pleasing scattering of objects. So doing this a few times might entertain you for a few more minutes, particularly if you are easily entertained. Uh, but it's awfully tempting to just hold that spacebar down and try to generate as many objects as possible to see what happens. Maybe we can even crash the code. So let's see. Creating all these objects. Lots of them. Now the cool thing about Box2D is that we're doing gusted over relaxation for a lot of objects. Eventually though, it does converge and we get stability. And you'll also see that I can't generate any more objects. I've been careful in my code not to overflow my object buffer. Alright, cool. Objects bouncing off of each other. Fairly easy to implement in Box2D. We'll do more fun stuff later.